Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to Do the Woo, the WooCommerce and WordPress Builder Podcast. We have a special show today, part one, where we hear from a few WordCamp US speakers. But before I get into that, I have a couple other WordCamp US shout outs I want to make. If you're going to go, please visit the booth of our own sponsors who are also sponsoring WordCamp. A2 Hosting, Avalara, GoDaddy, Hostinger, Jetpack, and WeGlot. And do not miss the WooCommerce meetup at WordCamp US on Friday, starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Easiest ways to find out about this or to actually sign up is go to our show notes or visit eventbrite.com and just search for the Woo Community Meetup app, WCUS 2023. So until then, join me as we listen to some tips and teasers from speakers from WordCamp US. Hey everybody, this is George Woodard, marketing consultant and WordPress developer at L Square Media Group. I'm back again this year, but this time I'm representing the Black Press tech community. Black Press is a place for those from the Black diaspora to feel supported, connected, and informed along their WordPress journey. So I and three other of my awesome Black Press members, Ray Mitchell, Maestro Stevens, and Destiny Kano will form an insightful panel to talk more about Black Press. I want you to come learn about our origins, the group's objectives, and our impact. What we'll do is explore the significance of amplifying Black voices within the WordPress ecosystem, address the underrepresentation and limited opportunities experienced by Black individuals in the digital space, and help others gain insights on how you can actively engage and contribute to this flourishing community. Now, whether you're from the Black diaspora or you're an ally, we invite you to participate, collaborate, and uplift Black voices through mentorship mentorship, open source projects, networking, and showcasing achievements. We can't wait to see you all there. Safe travels to everyone that's coming, and we hope to have a great and awesome weekend during WordCamp US. Take care. Hey, this is Danielle Zarkara with Kinetic Iris, which provides quality, accessibility-focused WordPress development. I'm here to tell you that nothing about accessibility means you have to be boring. It's just giving you guidelines on how to make sure people can actually use the delightful websites you design. There are ways you can learn what it takes to make accessible website designs and still be totally free to be creative. The fundamentals of design, like color theory and font pairings, shapes, textures, and balance, white space, they all combine to give you a place to start. Accessible design provides you with additional fundamentals like color contrast, readability, and user experience. These are all things you can learn, add to your knowledge bank, and practice so that your current experience as a designer is enriched by these new ways you can provide people with an experience they'll love. I'd love it if you join me at my session, Accessibility Without Compromising Creativity, where we'll go over some amazingly creative ways to make fun and accessible websites. Hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Hai Shankar, an open source program manager at Automatic and a full-time WordPress contributor. As you all know, WordPress, the open source software that powers over 40% of the internet, is built by contributors from all over the world. WordPress needs sustained ongoing contributions to survive and grow. To help Fost the growth of WordPress, a program called Five for the Future was created to encourage organizations and individuals to contribute up to 5% of their time towards supporting the software. Now, did you know that contributing to WordPress could be a great way to learn some exciting skills? Did you know that contributing to WordPress as an organization could offer tangible benefits that make actual business sense? Have you ever thought of the fact that contributing to WordPress is a great way for individuals and organizations to grow along with WordPress? At WordCamp US 2023, longtime WordPress contributors Jonathan DeRoches, Femi Prasith, 
and Emily Clark will join me, Hai Shankar, on a panel discussion on this very topic, which is titled, So You Pledge to Contribute to WordPress, What Next? In this exciting panel discussion, we will talk about the Five for the Future program and WordPress contributions in detail, from how companies can set up, run, and succeed by creating internal contribution teams, to how individual contributors can build a contribution plan and succeed as ongoing contributors. We will cover a wide range of topics on WordPress contributions at our session. Come join us at 1.30 p.m. in the Woodrow Wilson track on August 25th, Friday, to learn all about WordPress contributions and to interact with all these exciting veteran contributors. I look forward to seeing many of you at WordCamp US. Thank you. Hi, this is Aida Korea Jackson. I'm the owner of Love Built Life, and I will be speaking at WordCamp US 2023. My talk will be empowering creativity, building a welcoming WordPress community for beginners and creators. My tip to you today is if you're an organizer or part of a local meetup, I want you to think outside the box. Who do you know or who are you in contact with that you have never thought of inviting to a meetup or WordCamp before? Is it your local barista, your yoga instructor, that sweet artist up the road that owns that cute little studio? Invite them. You never know. They may already be into technology or maybe they're struggling with their website, or maybe they would just be a great addition to your local tribe. And if you're new to the WordPress community, I welcome you. This is a wonderful community to be a part of. And you're coming to WordCamp US for the first time. My advice to you is don't be afraid to ask questions. This is one of the friendliest, most helpful communities I know. And we would love to help you feel more welcome and included. So while you're there, both organizer and new and old or new uh, participant, I want you to come and find me at our WordCamp US. I'll be the lady with the flower in my hair. I would love to say hi and tell me if you tried out one of these tips and how it worked out for you. Hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you. Hey, I'm Ryan Smith, WordPress developer at The Motley Fool. I'm really looking forward to engaging with all the amazing sessions and, of course, the attendees at the upcoming WordCamp US at National Harbor in the coming weeks. Come join me as I share my thoughts on the relevance and importance of multi-sites to the WordPress project and present a case study on how we at The Fool use it to power our free and premium member experiences. Did you know you can share custom taxonomies across multiple sites with just a few lines of code? Come check out Powering a Global E-Commerce Platform with Multisite with yours truly on Friday, August 25 at 2.30. Cheers. Hi, this is Sean B. Broom with Web Girls Code, and I also own a small web agency called j b Designs in Columbia, South Carolina. And in talking about how can you make a change in your community through WordPress, uh, teaching people WordPress is the number one way I feel that can be done. And the biggest advice I would give when you're trying to reach out to organizations or schools or whoever you're trying to get into their community to teach WordPress is build relationships first. Don't do cold emails, cold calls, but Go to events, learn who your audience is, and build relationships. And people are more likely to welcome you and want to try something new like learning WordPress if they feel comfortable with you. Hey, Bob WP here. Just want to thank these cool WordPressers who took the time out of an obviously busy schedule and shared those tips and teasers with us. Make sure when you're there, check out their sessions, say hi to them, or enjoy a conversation. Also, make sure and visit our sponsors at WordCamp US and sign up for that Woo Meetup. So until part two, keep on doing the Woo.